The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, should you feel sorry for her? No, not really, and here is why. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London, and as ever, thank you so much for your company today. Nice to see you, whatever you're doing. By the way, can I just say this, all of these stories floating around, we're bringing you them first and exclusive. But the bottom line is there was a story recently saying that King Charles hasn't rehearsed at all uh, in his coronation robes at Buckingham Palace. Nobody truly knows that. What I do know and what I can tell you is that the Royal Muse is very busy and these people truly deserve our support because when you think about it, as one of the very chief uh, cheeses over the, the Royal Muse pointed out to me, is simply the fact that the horses have to be calm. So there's a lot of time spent with the soldiers and the horses because let's not forget on that uh, coronation uh, ride, lots and lots of people are going to be there and the horses possibly, the very young ones, have never really been in that big crowd situation before so let's wish them all well because that's a tough point a lot of these things get overlooked you know because everybody looks at the bigger picture I for one love all of that ceremony and stuff like that I'm sure many of you do out there and I think they do a terrific job let's give them a big wave you know thank you all of you uh, boys and girls whatever you're doing on that big day must be nerve-wracking but remember you're part of history back as ever also to your breaking roll story of the day it had to happen didn't it now of course, you know, Megan decided she didn't want to come. She got dumped, whichever way you look at it. But the bottom line is we tell you the truth first here on this channel. What's interesting also is she was kind of forced into this situation because obviously the longer they milked it, they thought that they could uh, create some sort of interest around themselves. Now, it's natural, isn't it? The backlash has started. Oh, poor Megan sitting home alone with the two children while her prince goes off to represent her at his father's coronation. Should you feel sorry for her? Not really. Meghan truly knows exactly how the public feel about it. There's no two ways about it, you know. She's not that stupid, but she's a coward in my opinion because she's done all of that undoing, all thanks to the interviews, the docu-series, Prince Harry's book, of which she guided him through, and then now basically saying, right, you go off and face it. I'm too short and too cowardly to do it. You know, a real supportive wife would have stuck by him regardless whether they had to leave the children for a few nights or not and people are saying oh yes but it's his birthday let's not forget previously uh, prince harry was away for the other birthday and let's not also forget that harry and meghan left their children for up to two weeks previously at the sad demise and funeral of her majesty the queen so it's not necessarily anything new to them but the bigger picture truly is this, you know, a very good source close to the couple. And, um, you know, if they knew exactly how people feel about them who are working for them at times, you know, as all celebrities would be shocked, not just Harry and Meghan, let me tell you, all celebrities would be shocked at just how certain individuals do speak to other people regarding their former employers, shall we say. But what's interesting here is this, you know, Meghan herself will be banking on the fact that she could put all of this down in great detail in that forthcoming book that she's been offered. She could give her version of events. She doesn't necessarily have to be here. Obviously, she'll get a first-hand account of exactly what happened from her husband, Prince Harry. But I think the bigger picture, when you think about it on, you know, this sort of scale, as it were, it's worked out for her in a more beneficial way because it could turn the tide of public sympathy there she is home alone etc but as many people have pointed out Megan herself can't resist the opportunity for publicity and as we saw the last major event at the platinum jubilee on cue bang came this particular picture of her daughter princess lilibet so what's the betting? Somehow, perhaps a leaked Zoom call, or in fact a lonely walk to the cake store with Prince Archie, that will be all detailed. Now I'm predicting it won't come out on Coronation Day, but what's the betting, quite simply the day after, to wipe out any publicity that uh, the rest of the royals may have, we will find some kind of documentation from Meghan Markle about that birthday party. They simply can't resist. So for those that are saying, poor Meghan, again, just remember, a lot of this, in fact, the majority of this, is all her own doing. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.